everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know you will find interesting, engaging, and inspiring. My name is Ricky Smith, and I'll be your host. Today, I want to introduce you to Sonia Joseph. She is the founder and CEO of Leadership Impact. She is also a professional development coach, as well as a self-proclaimed servant leader. She believes that true leadership is shown with compassion and demonstrated with love to your staff. She is also a United States Marine Corps veteran. You all, please welcome my friend, Sonia. Sonia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you being here. You know, because in this day and age, leadership is a huge topic. Can you tell me a little bit about how did you get into the leadership genre of business? I think that I was born this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's actually, I mean, just across my life, it's always been... No matter what I've done, I found myself in roles where I was leading or teaching or doing something of that nature, even if I asked for it. I've never really wanted to lead anything. I like being in the background, but I don't know, maybe the Lord is pushing me in front, but. Hey, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's so funny when you said I was born this way and it made me think how many of us as women are in the leadership roles and we were born that way, but when we were little girls, they called us something else. Oh yes, bossy. There it is. <laughs> they called us bossy. Don't be smarter, don't be faster, don't, yeah. But look at us now, right? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, something that you wrote in your bio, I want to read it because I really want to talk about this. I thought it was so incredibly powerful. So let me read what you said. You said that your passion for leadership has caused you heartbreak because of the things that you witnessed about how drastically poor leadership can damage people and organizations. Can you talk about that a little bit? Can I say, look at our country right now? Well, well... <laughs> I mean, you know, and the choir said, Amen, but, anyhow. <laughs> you know, I, it, it, it's just always, when I was a corporate trainer, I used to go out in the field with sales reps. Hmm. And many times, a lot of our conversations would revolve around their managers, their frustration, their disappointment, so forth and so on. So I started to learn that even though these people were put in management roles, they were not necessarily equipped to lead. Oh, that's it's good. Not always their fault. Mm -hmm. People do their job well, and they get promoted, and they all get right. people put under them, and then they're supposed to know how to lead. When all they know how to do is show you, this is how I did it, so you yeah. do it this way too, and it doesn't work that way. Right. So Actually, what you're saying is there's a difference between being in front and being a leader. This is very true. Because I know a lot of people that are bosses that are in leadership roles they're pretty much just in the front. And a lot of times being in the front can also be equated to being in the way. So now how do you go about training leaders to lead as opposed to just being out front? It's, it's your mindset. Oh, it wow. To go into this. People get promoted many times or they're evolving into these roles and they see it as power. Mm. And it is power. Mm -hmm. But will you use that power? Right. Are you going to use it to just push people, force people, drag people? I don't know. Or are you going to inspire, encourage, develop? And a true leader does that. They inspire people, they encourage them, they coach them, they develop them. They make those people better than they were when they first met them. Oh, that is so good. So let me ask you, can anybody be a leader or do you have to be born that way? I think that Anybody could be a leader if they have the proper motivation and the desire. Mm -hmm. People can learn how to do things. Some people, it comes naturally, and some people, it requires a little bit of coaching and development and really kind of tapping into that part of themselves. But you have to be humble, and you have wow. to be willing to learn, and you have mm -hmm. to be willing to listen. And if you do that, I think that most people are capable of becoming a leader. Okay, so I want everybody to be able to write this down. So in order to become a good leader, you have to be willing, I love that, willing to learn and willing to listen. And what was the third one? Be humble. 
and be humble. Wow. How many leaders, leaders do we know <laughs> to be humble? Leaders, leaders need to be able to follow. If you can't follow anything or anyone, you can't lead. You are doing a whole bunch right now. So I probably have leaders right now going, wait, what happened? <laughs> wait, I have to be humble and I have to listen? I can't with you right now. Yeah. So what do you tell leaders that are struggling? Because Sonia, you know, and you and I both have seen and probably been around and under leaders who do not listen who cannot be humble because they weren't trained to, they don't know how to, or like you said earlier, their mindset is to be humble is to seem less than a good leader. How do you address something like that? Again, it goes back to why are you doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. It's about you. I mean, a leader puts their team first. A leader puts their team ahead and your glory comes through the, the progress and the accomplishments of your team. Right. So instead of trying to shine and, and, and look as if, look at me, look what I'm doing, mm -hmm. background, and your team is shining, that is a reflection on you. That is and so true. We will speak on your behalf mm -hmm. and they toot the horn for you because you're such a great leader. They want you to, to get the glory, so, so to speak. They want you to be known. Mm -hmm you've done something for them right you know it's so interesting because with both of us being military vets you know i'm in the i was in the army and you being in the marine corps we've seen good leaders and we've seen some really bad leaders yes. and i know for me good leaders are like good teachers you always remember them absolutely when you were in the marines do you have a particular leader that you remember and if so what was it about that leader that made them stick out in your mind um, well, the one that's sticking out in my mind right now, um, she wasn't really, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> it did make an impact on me. And she was, a, I'm 5'9", mm -hmm. a little bitty lady with a very big voice. And mm -hmm. she was an instructor when I was going through boot camp. Mm -hmm. And I really hated her <laughs> while I was going through it. But in retrospect, especially as I've gotten older and I think back on it, mm -hmm she did her job you know she she was committed to the core it was in her heart and her spirit and she wanted us to be excellent and when you're you know 18 19 years old you don't get that necessarily sure but after going through life a little bit i understand exactly what she was doing she did make an impact and a very strong impression on me mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, like you said, all of us have that teacher, have that leader, that one person, like you said, that made an impact in our life as an individual, as an employee, as an employer, you know, and going forward. So I, I love that. That is so incredibly powerful. For everyone that's watching, understand this. We are going to have all of Sonia's contact information in the description. So you will be able to reach her, to contact her, to connect with her, to maybe even find out how you can be helped by her and her company to be a better leader than you are. We also want to make sure that you subscribe to Faith on Friday. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment because we really want to hear your stories about leadership, where you've been, and where you'd like to go. Sonia, you know how we do this. If you've ever seen the Faith on Friday Extra series, we have to play a game. Yes. <laughs> Our game is called This or That, and it's pretty simple. It's just a way to get people to kind of know you a little better. So I'm going to give you a choice of two things, and you just tell me off the top of your head which one you like the best. Are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Android or iPhone? Android. Awesome. Read the book or watch the movie? <laughs> watch the movie. <laughs> Wallflower or Life of the Party? Ooh, that's a hard one. It depends. <laughs> Probably Wallflower. I'm surprised to hear that, okay? Summertime fun or winter wonderland? Ooh, definitely summertime. Yeah, me and you both, girl. Eat to live or live to eat? <laughs> I probably live to eat. 
<laughs> outside in nature or just inside the house? If it's summertime, outside. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Drive or ride? Ride. I like sports or I don't care? I don't care. <laughs> and when you were a teenager, what was your first job? I worked at McDonald's. Oh, man. How was it? I've never worked fast food. How did you like it? I hated it. <laughs> but, but you got free food and you know that whole living to eat? Yeah. It yeah. served your purpose. That yes, is perfect. Sonia, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you and I appreciate your insight. This is going to go a long way and I hope that people will at least contact you because y'all, she's got a lot left to say. So thank Sonia, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Ricky. All right, everybody. My name is Ricky Smith and we'll see you next time on Extra. Mm -hmm.